Hey everyone, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Welcome to my annual What I Got For Christmas video. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to do this this year but I've made the decision that it's an annual thing and I am so excited to share with you what the people in my life bought me for Christmas. If you haven't been following, I just completed Vlogmas on my vlog channel. I vlogged every single day of my life in December up until Christmas so if you want to check that out, go and take a look but for now, if you enjoy these videos, please give this a like, subscribe if you're new here, I have some amazing things coming in the new year. Let's get into the What I Got For Christmas video 2022. So I'm gonna show you what my best friend got me. Now we did do present swaps, so if you haven't seen the present swaps, go and watch that, but I've just bought a few of the things with me so I could show you. So she got me a box of my favorite protein bars. She got me some tea. I am the biggest tea lover in the whole entire world and she knows this, so she got me that. She also got me a Ralph's coffee mug. So we both love Ralph's coffee and she got me the mug. This one is so unbelievably cute. We've been in there maybe two days before we filmed the videos and she'd gone and got it for me. It's so cute. I can't wait to start using that. I'm going to use it year round. I will not be saving that for the festive season. Every time I look in this bag, it just makes me smile because she knows me so well. And the final thing that I'm going to show you from her, if you want to see the rest, go and watch the whole video. I'll link it in a card and down below. She got me Nike socks. I wear these every single day. And you know that thing in your life that if you don't have any clean or you don't have any, you miss them? This is that thing for me. So this is such a great gift. We, we chose practical gifts this year. As every year, I'm going to start with my stocking. And my stocking twins out there, I'm so sorry. I've left the club and I got a new stocking. This is a Love Shack Fancy stocking. I actually bought this for myself. And they were super limited edition. They're really like a special piece. And I'm so glad that I got my hands on this. I love it. So my mama filled it. She got me a trust cookie bar it's a protein bar i love protein bars and they're something that i'm always trying new things of so she got me a new one to try which is very exciting it's also just full of my favorite chocolate a reese's peanut butter tree i love this i love saving these in the back of my cupboard and then like halfway through the year i realize i've still got a christmas tree like a reese's one in there and it makes me so happy some little lin eggs so good. She got me this candle as well. This is a Renew candle and it says it has essential oils in. I mean, it smells incredible. It's also a very cute size to sit on like your bedside table because it doesn't really take up any space. <laughs> my favorite biscuits. The funniest thing about this is I bought these for my older sister and for my younger sister. And I had them in my stocking. I pulled them out as my younger sister was opening hers and we just looked at each other and we were like, uh, my mom was like, I was so confused. I thought it ended up in the wrong place. I didn't know how, but these are a firm favorite in our household. If you haven't tried the M&S Extremely Chocolatey Milk Chocolate Rounds, please, please give them a go. I haven't scratched my scratch card. I also got a nail file. I think there's another one in here as well. My mum got me a couple that were, there we go, different shapes. I think nail files are something that I just never buy myself and they're great to receive as a gift. Okay, should we scratch this scratch card? My mum put one on the table as well, which was really sweet. I'm trying to see if I've got something that I can scratch it with. Okay, let's see if this works. So I have to find a diamond. I actually scratched my one at the dinner table and I won four pounds. So that was lucky. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, I haven't won on that one. Okay, so on this one, I have to find like the lottery sign to win. Nope. And nope. <laughs> and then this one, it gives me a number and I have to match the number. Okay, 26 is my number. Uh, nine, uh, 19, 27. Oh, well, I didn't win, but I won on the last one. So <laughs> I guess it's okay. And then I just can't get over how beautiful this stocking is. I honestly love it. I got another protein bar. This is the Trust Cookie Bar Double Chocolate Flavor. Oh, that sounds so good. And finally, I got two Maltesers Reindeers. I love Maltesers Reindeers, Maltesers Bunnies around Easter time. They're so good. Also, I feel like I should probably say, I am dressed in my Christmas pajamas because this room is not festive in the slightest. And I decided I had to be the only festive thing in the room. I don't think I've ever done one of these videos in pajamas, but Today's the day and I guess these are probably gonna be on sale now because it's after Christmas and they are the most comfortable pajamas I've ever worn. Next up for my family, I got two of the Max Factor 2000 calorie waterproof mascaras. These are my favorite mascaras in the whole entire world. I'm wearing them today. I don't know if you can see. My lashes just love this and it holds the curl all day. My mom uses this. My little sister doesn't use this. She has like a lash lift, but yeah, the best. The most ridiculous gift first. This is from my dad and these are mud flats 
flaps for my car. I seem to have lost a mud flap on my car and it's something I would never replace. So he ordered me some mud flaps from Tesla to replace the one that has just disappeared. So I'm gonna have to ask him to help me put those on because I have no idea how to do that. But I thought that was a very thoughtful gift. I love a gift that I would never buy myself and I love a gift that's a practical gift. So he was so excited to give me these. He was like, open it, open it. I got a ton more foodie things. So I got a pack of M&S Percy Pig. These are the Christmas edition ones. I love a Percy Pig. I got a few Tony's bars. Tony's is something that I obviously have known about for a long time, but I've really gotten into. Basically they have it in Whole Foods and that's where I discovered Tony's. And now I'm just obsessed. So this is the dark almond sea salt. This is my favorite. This is the, all candy cane dark. That's a Christmas edition. And this is a gingerbread milk chocolate. So very exciting. I also like the pink one, which is like a, a biscuit. I think it's a caramel milk biscuit. So good. But if you haven't tried Tony's, definitely do. Oh, and I also got some Reese's peanut butter cups. It says these are the DJ disco lights ones. Oh, DJ D Santa's Christmas light. Christmas disco light. Why can't I talk? I assume it's like the disco deck thing. That's so random, but yum. I feel like you know what all my favorite foods are now. Although, who remembers the huge bag of cola bottles? I didn't get any cola bottles this year. I got the Garnier 12 Days of Maskmas set and yeah, so I have all of these face masks. I have set it for myself as a goal between Christmas and New Year to do a face mask every single day. And we'll see what it does to my skin. If it does good, it's something I'm going to continue into the new year. I love this one, this is the, what's it? The Super Hydrating Glow Reviving. I love the night one as well, this one here. And there's a lavender one as well, this one here that I really love. So yeah, this is a great set. Oh, it's got a coconut one. Okay, this is exciting to me. I got some dry bar rollers. So I use my Dyson Airwrap pretty much every day to not necessarily like curl my hair, but give my hair like a blow dry look. And I always use the dry bar clips to clip it up. And I just thought, wouldn't my life be so much easier if I had some curlers, some, not curlers, some rollers, sorry. And these just look really good. I felt like they worked with the set because I had the clips and I was like, oh, it makes sense. So I'll let you know how I get on with these. There's six of them they're like self-gripping and i don't know if they're gonna be any good let me know if anyone has these but i'm excited to try them i got two pairs of ears from my big sister i got these snow white ears when she asked me what i was looking for for christmas i genuinely didn't know what to say and when she asked me i was actually at disneyland in california and i was like oh i know exactly what i would like and these ones i'm so excited about look so I am actually renovating my dream home. I have been for, for a while. Oh no, they were backwards. I have been for a while and I'm trying to decide where I'm going to display my ears in the house because I have maybe 50 pairs of Disney ears, Mickey Mouse ears. So I need to figure a way. I was thinking maybe I could do it around the top of like one of the rooms, but then I was like, mm, I don't want them to get like dusty and damaged. So let me know, how would you display these in a house? Do I need to get them in like framed or I don't know, but I definitely want to put them somewhere because I, I love them. It's a very random thing to collect. I would collect so much Disney merch if I allowed myself, but it's also kind of pointless. Like, I don't need it. I have the pin badges as well and I don't use it. So the one thing I've allowed myself to collect is, is. And I feel like it's a fair thing because you can wear them, you can share them and yeah, do you know what I mean? Whereas I feel like if I collect like ornaments or pins, what 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 am I gonna do with that? I'm never gonna use them again. Whereas these get use. Oh, I also got a new pair of Lululemon Align leggings. These are the pink peony color. And I also am getting the sports bra, but it was out of stock. So my mum was like, I'll get that for you as soon as it comes into stock. And I was like, thanks, because I love a matching set. So these are the 28 inch ones. So they're like taller and yeah, this is a new color to Lulu. I wear the black ones all the time and I just thought this was a really fun color. I don't wear enough color when it comes to working out. So decided that this was quite a nice one. It's quite bright and fun, ready for the new year. And I'm gonna get on my fitness game in the new year. I feel like I've been doing things with fitness recently that I've just not been enjoying because I've not had as much time. I feel like I've been doing things to cut corners. Like I've been doing heavier weights or I've been doing more running when I would usually walk. Well, not, I don't run, but like, you know, jogging it for like short periods of time whereas I prefer to go for a longer walk so I'm gonna give myself more time to do the lower intensity things that I genuinely enjoy and 
stop trying to do half an hour workouts it's just not it's not, it's not doing it for me so i'm excited to wear these i got a brand new robe this is i haven't, I haven't opened this let's open this together so this is the robe Oh, it's loud. From the Edition Hotel. I actually own this already and the eagle-eyed of you will have noticed that I got green paint on it. And it also just gotten a bit old and grubby. It was over a year old. I think it must have been, must have been two years old? No, maybe only a year old. Either way, I wear it every single day. And can you see it's got like the Edition Hotel on the back? This is just the most comfortable robe in the whole entire world. I love a hotel robe and I'm so excited to have this back in my life and have it be clean and fresh and not stained with paint because I wake up in the morning, I put my robe on, I get home from being out and about, I shower, I put my robe on. It's a real kind of safety blanket, warm, cozy thing for me. So this was the coolest gift. And I was never gonna buy myself a new one, which is silly because I literally wear it every day. Look what I got. This is the Monopoly Disney Mickey and Friends version. And I think I must have put this on my Instagram story around Black Friday. And I assume my mum saw and bought it for me. And it's got so many cool, can you see? It's got the little statues that, you know, you play Monopoly with, but it's got Chip and Dale. And Chip and Dale are my favorite Disney characters. I feel like they get forgotten. And you also get seven exclusive Disney pins. And like I said, I'm a pin collector. I allow myself to get one <laughs> per trip. Cause like I said, what are you gonna do with it? It's like a memory thing for me for each trip. So these are really cool, but I can't wait to play this. I am atrocious at Monopoly. So hopefully this will make me a bit better at it, but we'll see. I think this was a last minute gift for my mum because I actually bought this for my friend and I was sat there saying to my friend how much I needed my own one. It's a debobbler. I, every time I come to my parents' house, I'll be wearing knitwear and I'll go straight up to my parents' room and go and get their debobbler and debobble my knitwear. So I'm very happy. And my mum also said she specifically got one that didn't need batteries. So it's a rechargeable one with USB, which is so handy. And yeah, if you've never used one of these before basically you can use it to debobble your knitwear i don't know if it's going to do anything on this but you know when you get those annoying bobbly things and it makes your knitwear look just old and it's not even old this will revive it so if you haven't got one definitely look into it next up i got a pair of slippers to replace these they're looking a bit sad and old i love these slippers and i got these boot clay ones to replace them and what's awesome about this pair is they don't have the thing between your toes that pair did so i couldn't wear socks with them but with these i can so if i'm wearing socks around my house i would have to take the socks off to put the slippers on which is a bit annoying because then when you go out you then have to put the socks on again and you know it's the whole thing but yeah these are so cool. I think these boot clay ones are going to be the next thing to like the Tasman because they're so cute and cozy. I mean, I don't know if these particularly look like Uggs, but I don't think the other ones did either. But I really, really like these and I've been eyeing these up for so long and I got them for Christmas. And my final gift is from my baby sister. So she's 14 and Oh, this is a whole story, but basically when she started school in September, she didn't know what bag to use. She was like, do I take a backpack? Do I take this, that? She's in year nine now. And I was like, I have the answer to all of your problems. And I gave her one of my bags to use for school and then immediately regretted it. And I was like, I missed that bag. <laughs> so I said to her for Christmas, would you mind replacing the bag for me? And she was like, mm, we'll see in her sassy way as she does. I was like, oh, I don't think she's gonna replace the bag. So I'm gonna have to rebuy myself this bag which it's not the end of the world, but she bought me the bag for Christmas. So this is a longchamp bag, it's navy, and I think is this is the small or the medium? Either way, it fits a laptop in a 13 inch laptop, and it's just the perfect size because you can't overfill it. So I will put my laptop in this, my external hard drive, maybe like an external battery, and then like my phone keys everything like that and it's perfect and it's not too heavy. I, my other long trump is literally, I think it's just outside the door. It's just that little bit too big. I overfill it and I love the fact that these have a zip so it's so safe to take around the city. So thank you Sophie for replacing my bag. This is what she uses for school if anyone was wondering and she wrote me, I put it in my drawer but she wrote me the loveliest note to go with it just saying thank you so much for solving all my bag problems and now we can twin and it was the loveliest gift. So that is everything that I got for Christmas 2022. I hope you had the most wonderful day. Like I said, I have uploaded 25 vlogs in the last month. So go and check those out if you would like. If you haven't seen my best friend present swap, that is also up on this channel. And I will see you very soon over my vlog channel because I'm going sales shopping today and I'm filming that. So go and subscribe to my vlog channel if you don't already. And I will see you on this channel in the new year. Goodbye.